a win streak is snapped from the Spring Sizzler's newest victor. The Spring Sizzler celebrated 25 years at Stafford Motor Speedway to kick off the 1996 season. Mikey Winitsko was looking to make some history by winning the race three consecutive seasons, while 29 others were racing to add their name to the Sizzler record books. Ed Kennedy shocked the pit area in qualifying in his number zero Ralph Solom owned team by winning the pole with a lap speed of 93.852 miles per hour. Ewan Itzko would start the day 10. Rick Fuller and Mike Stefanik would make up the front row following the pre-race redraw, while pole winner Kennedy would start from sixth. Fuller would dominate early and often, taking the lead at the start and holding the point for much of the race's first half. The 200-lap race was slowed just five times for debris and minor spins. Only two cars failed to finish. Satch Worley had an engine failure, while Ed Flemke Jr. was overheating. The turning point of the race came with 50 laps to go, as leader Rick Fuller was slowed in lap traffic under the day's longest green flag run. Both Tim Conley and Jan Leedy were able to close in, with Leedy taking the top spot in his number 25 car. Leedy would go on to lead the final quarter of the event to claim the victory, his fifth career NASCAR modified win and first in the greatest race in the history of spring. Rick Fuller, who led 144 of the race's 200 laps, would finish second, while defending NASCAR modified champion Tony Hirschman was third. Leedy became the 17th different winner of the race, snapping Mike Iwanitsko's two-year win streak. Iwanitsko would finish the day 12. Mark your calendars for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100-lap Open Modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.